Hey y'all, I'm in the kitchen today and I'm going to be showing you how to make honey roasted peanut butter from scratch. It's a very simple process and relatively cheap. And for me personally, I feel it's healthier than anything you're going to get into the store. Um, the ingredients, you, for the most part, you can buy at the grocery store. I use local honey, coconut oil, raw peanuts, and some salt. Now, in this case, I'm using co coarse kosher salt, um, but you can use whatever salt you have available. And I'll be using my Ninja Blender food processor, whatever you want to call it. You'll need a bowl, some measuring spoons, and a cup and a jar of some sort to put your peanut butter in. So the first thing that I need to do is to remove the shells from the peanuts because as you know, peanuts come with this little red coating on them and you just kinda, well, I broke that one in half. That's not a good example, but you just kinda gotta rub them. I broke another one in half. I'm not concerned about getting 100% of the shells off but I do want to get as many off as I possibly can. So you just kind of slide your fingers around until you can pop that little outer shell, uh, outer red coating on there off. And drop it in the bowl. You can buy these without the shell on them, but they're harder to find. I mean, without the little skin on there but um, they're harder to find. And like I said, I don't worry about getting 100% of it off. In fact, the red coating on here has the most antioxidants and phytochemicals in them, so some of you may want to leave the red on there. If you can get it ground up enough, you're not even gonna really notice. It's just gonna make your peanut butter a different color. So. I'm going to finish getting a lot of the coating off of these, the shell, the, not really the shell because they're already shelled. I'm not really sure what that red part's called, but I'm going to finish getting that off of these peanuts. I need two cups worth. And once I've gotten that done, we'll continue on with the video. One of the ways that you can help get some of the shells off is just by picking up some peanuts and rubbing them between your hands like I'm doing. Just kind of agitate them in your hands. And then you pick out the ones that the shell has fallen off of. And you do it again, over and over again. This is something that I prefer to do like when I'm watching TV or something. It seems to not be so tedious. But if you've shelled peanuts, I mean, uh, peas or stuff like that, it is a long, tedious job. You can buy these without the red on there. So just keep that in mind if you don't want to go through the process of trying to remove all of the little red sh shell parts. Alrighty, so now that I've gotten most of the shells off, I'm going to put... Well, A little more than a half teaspoon of salt, or probably more like a teaspoon of salt, but that's fine. Then we're gonna put a tablespoon of honey. Then we're gonna mix all of this up until all of the peanuts are coated in the honey. stirred up real good and then we are going to take a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and put the peanuts on there get it all spread out 
so that you have an even layer of peanuts. And then we are going to put these in a 350 degree oven that we have already preheated for about 15 to 20 minutes. You don't want them to burn. They will store, sort of start to brown a little bit, but remember, don't let them burn, so check them every five minutes. And I'm gonna set my timer for um, 15 for sure, so I know once they've been in there 15 minutes. So let's get these into the oven and get them roasted. Hey Google, set timer for 15 minutes. Here we go. 15 minutes. So I will be back as soon as the peanuts are roasted and we'll move on to the next step. All right, well, it's been 15 minutes and now we're gonna take the peanuts out of the oven and we're going to set them on the stove to cool off for about five minutes. You can see what they look like close up. You can see the oil started coming out of them. Anyway, let these sit here and cool for about five minutes, and then we'll be back to finish. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and now I am going to take all of my peanuts, and I'm going to put them in my Ninja, and we're gonna get these ground up. Since they have honey on them, they are kind of sticky. And by the way, if you just wanted honey roasted peanuts you would stop at this point and have honey roasted peanuts they're very good i shouldn't talk with peanuts in my mouth but i couldn't resist i like them a little sweeter so when they come out of the oven i drizzle more honey on them and they're a really great snack so keep that in mind if you don't want to go all the way through the peanut process, peanut butter process, I mean. They are hot, but they're not so hot that they're burning my hand. If you have tender hands, you might wanna use a fork or something to pull them off that parchment paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these into the Ninja, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that we have all of the peanuts in, into the Ninja, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of coconut oil in there. You can use other oils if you want. Uh, the only one I haven't tried is olive oil, and I'm not sure I would want olive oil in my peanut butter, but two tablespoons of the coconut oil should do it and then i am going to add another tablespoon of honey because i like it a little sweeter there we go put the lid on and start making a bunch of racket in the house Here's what it looks like so far. And I'm gonna take and scrape down the sides and then we'll do it some more. And you're gonna just keep doing this over and over and over again until it's creamy. So here we go, let's do it some more. starting to turn creamy right here. I added one more. So you can see it's starting to turn creamy right here. I went ahead and add, I went ahead and added another tablespoon of coconut oil. You just have to use your best judgment when you're doing this and um, 
I saw that it was too dry, so I added one more tablespoon. So, so far I've used three tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm going to scrape the sides down again. Let's go again. Every minute or so, I scrape the sides down, like you can see here with my little spatula, and just push those little peanuts down in there and then start doing it again. Added a little bit more honey, another tablespoon, and this should be the final ninja chopping that we do. We have fresh homemade honey roasted peanut butter. You can see the consistency. Pretty much sticks to my spoon. It is neither going to look like or taste like the peanut butter that you're used to getting from the store. I could have added more honey. I could have added more oil. That's up to you. You just have to kind of tweak the recipe to figure out what you like best. So now I'm going to take my jar and spoon this into my jar. I could have used a smaller jar, but I'm going to make a second batch so that I have a full jar of peanut butter. So that's why I chose this jar because it's enough for two batches. It was a sauerkraut jar. lid on and it is now shelf stable I don't bother to refrigerate this but you can if you want you can also do a water bath if you want that lid to seal I wouldn't do it on a half jar I would make sure you had it you know up to the thing here the shoulder but now you can show your kids that you know how to make peanut butter and you can have some peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or in my case, I grew up eating toast um, with peanut butter and a little sugar sprinkled on it. I don't know that we ever had a name for it, just peanut butter toast. Someone make me some peanut butter toast for a snack today. Um, I know I probably made it look a little more difficult than what it is, but it is really simple. And like I said, if you want it creamier, then what I have here, just add more coconut oil until it gets as creamy as you want it. I just kind of like mine a little thicker. So anyway, there you go. And for those of you wondering how the peanut growing is doing, it's still doing okay. We're still battling ants. Still have our little bait stations in there. But so far they are tolerating the excessive heat and this experiment is going well. 
that's not the only reason I'm growing peanuts. There are other recipes that I can show you uh, for using the peanuts that I'll be growing or that you might start to grow. One being flour and many other recipes that just totally left my mind right now. <laughs> not only is it hot outside, but it's about 80 degrees in my house because the air conditioner is just fighting to keep it cool in here. So anyway, that's a building topic that we'll talk about on another day. So that's how you make homemade peanut butter, honey roasted peanut butter. Um, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I have used um, already salted peanuts from the store and that works out well too. I just added honey to it. You can ha add other things to this. You can um, add some uh, chocolate or cinnamon. Um, people add various things to their peanut butter, but for me, I personally just like to make the plain, plain Jane honey peanut butter for our use, but I hope you guys give this a try. Thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already, please subscribe.